Hi everyone, it's Kevin again, and in this video we're going to discuss camera exposure and white balance for the Phantom Drone. I'm guessing that some of you who are watching the video have purchased a Phantom Drone and you've had it for a while, you've been flying it and you've got the hang of that and probably just want to look at some of these camera settings. In this video we're going to discuss some of the camera settings on your Phantom Drone. We'll discuss the difference between manual and auto mode. We'll discuss the use of white balance, we'll discuss the use of digital filters, and we'll discuss the use of the style settings. One of the things we won't be discussing in a video is the histogram function. Uh, the histogram function is very much related to exposure and coloring, but I think it's one of those where it needs a tutorial all by itself. It's a little bit more involved. Before we get started, I just want to make a quick note about the DJI GO app and the Litchi app. Uh, with regards to exposure and white balance settings, both apps support the same settings and they both have style settings and digital filter settings. The DJI GO app, they refer to it as color settings, but it's the same thing basically. And if you were to go in and make a change to say the exposure setting, in the DJI GO app and then open up the Litchi app, you'll find that the settings will have moved over to that app as well. So let's talk about some of the settings. So for those who haven't played around with any of the camera settings before, uh, what you're going to do is go into the app and just click on that little icon with the little slide buttons. And uh, just look at the blue arrows, that's where you're going to click to get to your exposure settings for either app. As you can see, both apps have an ISO setting, they've got a shutter speed setting, and they have an exposure value setting. So the ISO setting and the shutter speed setting are only for manual mode. The exposure value setting is something that you can do in auto mode. And now we have white balance. As you can see by the blue arrows, that's where you find your white balance setting. And there's your digital filter settings, kind of color settings, same thing. And there's the style settings. Well, let's start off with a few exposure settings. And let's click on that camera settings icon. You'll see that the exposure settings are right there and you'll see that it right now is set for auto, which is the way it comes default out of the box. And there's nothing you can set in auto except for the exposure value. And you can see that by lowering it, it makes the picture a little bit darker. And if you add exposure value, it goes lighter. That's really all it does is it darkens it and it lightens it. So auto, is it something that should be used? Well, you know, auto comes default out of the box, as I mentioned, and uh, it's not bad for beginners. It does let you take good video or reasonable video, and it, it's definitely a good way to get started, especially when you're first flying your drone. That's probably not a bad way to go, but at some point you definitely want to switch to at least getting used to trying out some of the manual settings. Here's a look at some footage using auto settings for white balance and exposure. The two main issues I have with auto are one is it, it kind of seems like the colors are bleached out. The lighting seems a bit overexposed at times. And the other issue is that the lighting changes and sometimes you want it to just be a consistent lighting. Even if you're turning in a direction where there's a bit of darker shadows, you just want the lighting to remain consistent. Let's take a look at manual mode. Go into the camera settings and then we'll click on exposure settings. Let's click on the M for manual and right away you see that everything is very bright. Uh, we've got ISO set for 800, we've got shutter speed set for 1 60th of a second and those are both high values for daytime shooting so we're going to lower those to get that brightness down. Right away you notice with manual mode that as we move the camera around the exposure doesn't change. Here we'll play around with the settings a little bit, we'll lower the shutter speed and we'll raise it back up again just to sort of get a feel of what the lighting is. 
So now that you get the idea of what the manual exposure settings do, uh, let's go back to the camera settings and let's scroll down to white balance. As expected, uh, the default setting is auto and auto again is okay. It's uh, generally not gonna do anything too crazy for you. It's just, you might wanna play around with some of the other settings to get it a little more to what you want. Let's try some of these other white balance options. You've got sunny for sunny weather, cloudy if it's cloudy out, water surface of course if you're going over a water surface. Uh, you've got uh, incandescent lighting, you've got fluorescent lighting. Uh, they're generally set up for those particular kind of lighting situations. And you do have a custom setting the custom setting is more or less a Kelvin temperature color scale. The scale runs all the way from the coolest colors all the way up to the warmest colors. And those other preset white balance settings that we looked at all sit within that scale somewhere. This simply lets you fine tune the exact white balance you want. It's often said that there's no right setting in general for exposure. There's only the right setting for you. That's why it's always good to play around with these settings. And so now we move on to the digital filter settings or in a DJI Go app, as they call it, the color settings. I won't go into an explanation of each filter. I'll just scroll through the various filters and you'll see on the screen recording what they do. You'll get a rough idea from that. And there you have it. Those are your digital filters. Next, we're gonna take a look at the style settings. You've got sharpness, contrast, and saturation. And I won't explain too much about those. They're, those ones are pretty much self-explanatory and I'll just let the video run through it and you can check it out for yourselves. I guess that about covers it for today. We've looked at exposure settings, both manual and auto. We've looked at white balance, and we've looked at the style settings and the digital filters. I'll leave you with this video here. This is the footage that we got from the camera when we were scrolling through our white balance settings. I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching and have a good day.